Tony plays <laughs> with friends. And I'm bored. Fair enough. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jeff, that looks just like you. Yeah. Oh, so this is Devil May Cry 5. It is. Okay. Uh, we're playing Devil May Cry 5 with- I've- Okay, Corey, thank you. We're Wait, Devil May Cry 5 with Jeff, Corey, and Dave! Okay, hi, I'm Dave. Hey. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Uh, hi, hi, Jeff. It's nice to meet you. It's Dave, good to uh, see you, too. I was gonna say- Dave started ISIS, so he's pretty popular. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, that I've never played this game. I don't know anything about it, actually. It's just so people know, Dave has already beat the game, but he's gonna play through it with power-ups. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's so not got, so boring. Yeah. Like Every, everything's unlocked, so we're cheating. But it's gonna be more fun. This guy, More creativity, uh, and uh, my girlfriend Lexi have bothered me to play Devil May Cry for so long. Mm. That was fun. We all we all, we told you for years to play it, and then all of a sudden you just you <clears> played <throat> three and you yeah. beat it really f fast. Yeah. And then you didn't play one like I told you to, and played two instead, which <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Should, should we should we pay attention to this cool story? Um, I mean, I guess it is cool. So it's about apples. No. Oh, look at apple. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know there were actual people here. <laughs> that guy looked like Elon Musk. <laughs> it's, <laughs> really, it's about a really big uh, like horn and snap. Nut sack up close. <laughs> Real close. Uh, this is weird seeing like weird rendered people. The decor in hell just kind of sucks. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> the decor, like home decor. Not decor, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. The aesthetic? The aesthetic, yeah, the building. It looks like a crushed butterfly. I've actually wing. thought about that before, Jeff. There's not much you can really do with it. Yeah. This guy, love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has the best line in the game, by the way. What, what line? Morris? At, at the end of the game, he's like, he's like, them crazy bitches. <laughs> them crazy bitches. <laughs> Just ruin the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> that spoils the whole story. No, it doesn't. <laughs> After all. Who's this fucking guy? V. Right Hot topic. Is it gonna explain? No. He looks like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> don't say that. Look at him! Please don't say that. Fucking look at him! He does! He's got the get up! You, you act like he's got tots in his pocket? Dude, look at him! <laughs> or he could look like you, Dave! No! Yeah, no, he could no. kind of look like you. I, I look like Nero from Devil May Cry 4. No, you did That would picture perfect. <laughs> he's a mystery. He's a mystery in the story until the end. He's like Dante from Devil May Cry 4. You don't know who he is. <laughs> I'm fine with that. All you know is he's got some fucking demons. Wait, wait, Jeff, you explain how the story works in this game. The the prologue here is actually it's it it's like in the middle of the story. It's not really the beginning. Like it plays out and then it skips but then it goes backwards. Leon Kennedy stands? No. <laughs> that is Leon yes! Kennedy stands. Okay. Yes! Okay, yes, yeah, that actually is right. That's fucking with me now. You guys someone photoshop Leon S. Kennedy's body over him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, this looks great. I will say, this cool. in this game. game, the person who looks the best, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is Me. probably Nero. Oh, I, I yeah, love Nero's how Nero cool. looks in this game. Like, in, in comparison to, like, 4, he still kind of looks like Nero. I feel like the other characters, even Dante, he looks like a rabid, like, homeless man. <laughs> I mean, I, he sense. still looks... Yeah, it makes Whoa. sense. That's cool. Oh, those things are weird. Dante always lived like a homeless person, so now that he's <laughs> he just, like, up. 60 years old, it works. <laughs> So is this after Devil May Cry 2? Uh, <laughs> Devil May Cry 2 is like non-canon now. Everybody who made it said that they hate it pretty Isn't much. Is it actually non-canon? Alright, so I played uh, Devil May Cry 2 right after playing 3. Uh. And I'm like, everyone says this game is bad. It is bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I told, you said, I'm gonna prefix that before I fucking get into the the topic. I, I just want to say that the the morning the morning it was morning time. Of course, it was fucking pajamas. He was like, Dave, is Devil May Cry too bad? And I was like, I told you like I told you like twenty times it fucking sucks. You're like, okay, cool, I'm gonna play so it now. Clapping his big feet together. Devil May Cry bad. I'm to have a play it now, but I played it and yeah. it is bad. But the thing okay. is that's insane about the game is they didn't properly code any actual attacks. Like, Dave has this... Dave knows the whole story, where, like, they only had, like, the thrust move, mm -hmm. your stinger, and that's all they had. And in the game, you only have, like, three fucking attacks. But when you pull out your gun and you're in devil trigger mode, you're like... <laughs> you're unloading so many bullets that enemies are vaporizing before your eyes. You go into a room with a boss, and you just... <laughs> <laughs> no. And they're Sorry. dead in literally seconds. I want to clarify that sound effect is why I'm laughing. <laughs> it. And it's funny because like every boss, like this boss comes in, it has like the worst cutscene ever. It just sort of phases in, and you just 
and pop it in two seconds and I it's was, dead. And you don't actually level up any devil trigger. All you do is purchase devil fruit or what whatever the, the fuck? fuck it's called. Who's this talking owl? Devil gems. He's, he's like the shadow person that the Hot Topic guy owns. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So, I wanna, it, the, Corey, the worst part, I, I want to say this because okay. it, it made me fucking just beyond angry. I've never been so mad at a game besides Mario Maker and besides Halo every other game and every other game I get mad at. <laughs> But there's a part where, you, and anyone who's played it, on a, even if you're playing it ironically and you're just laughing along with it, you get to this fucking part where you have to fight a zombie helicopter and zombie tank, no, that's all and I'm you want about. to kill yourself. It is uh, so fucking impossibly hard and long and stupid and boring. So, so wait, at this part, you have to climb like the Empire State Building pretty much and Here? look at- no, no, not in this game. Right right too. Too. Okay. You have to climb all the way to the top, and you have to like wall jump up the building, and it takes fucking forever. And then the it's helicopter's so at the top. Horrible. And Corey was like, I don't know, this game kind of sucks. And he got to the top, and a missile hit him square in the face the moment his feet touched the top, and it knocked him like 20 in game miles off the top of the building, and he fucking screamed. I'm gonna say this, this, this part, this is one of those situations where you can beat the final boss like right away if you're Wait, good really? enough. So if Dave loses, he stinks. <laughs> Wait, so you want me to beat it right now? Yes. Okay. On your first try. <laughs> I, 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 you I guys mean, are fucking testing me. <laughs> you could try. Come on, Dave, you can do it. I can't do it. <clears throat> I will do it. <laughs> also, that weird throat thrown demon has a lot of potential. I like no, bosses. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it literally doesn't. <laughs> Corey, what do you think of bosses that are just dudes sitting in chairs? Like... That's there's, cool. There's, there's one in Kingdom Hearts, there's one I, in Final uh, Fantasy 15, and now here. I like how nonchalantly he's tossing, like, fuck you fireballs, and just not really- he's not really- hey, really I actually doing do much. think it's pretty neat, I don't know. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> uh, Jeff? Yeah, hello, hey. What would you say is your favorite, uh, aesthetic in, in this screen right now? My favorite aesthetic? <laughs> in the screen. I just like the fact that the guy's like face palming. He's so bored. Playing, <laughs> yeah, he's Picard face palming. He's like, huh? <laughs> mm. I like, love how so disinterested he is. Is this the first boss? You know, sort of, kind of. Oh it's, my god! It's supposed to be like a sequence that you can't beat, but Jeff just dared me to beat it, so now I have to. This is Jeff like, a and I know he'd lose that. Here's the thing about, here's the thing about wait, Devil May wait, Cry that I, I would, didn't realize. I would lose that. Did it. you ever beat this, Jeff? No. You suck. Well, I only played through the game once. You've already brown, browno. You have literally listen, only I... nicked off like 0.3% no, of watch, I'm going to kill him as soon as this ends. All right. All right, so basically Devil May Cry, the it's the weirdest gaming experience ever. I don't I can't even explain it. You just kind of go on autopilot and you just let the game play itself and it's just like a light show. Like you don't even know what you're doing half the time. You're just switching buttons, you're going from I mean, there is, there, 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 there is. Is. No, it is. Like, that's what I, that's how I play it. I'm just like I mean, my man. brain is turned off. I'm I'm literally like That's gone muscle memory. And, oh, no, now you're no, winning. Dude. You're doing it. Yeah, oh, it's man. almost done. First try, no maybe, hits. Maybe you should just let him kill you. <laughs> no, Jeff, I got this. You no, missed him. You're all powered no, up, though. Jeff. It's not oh, fair. Oh my god. Whatever. <laughs> Jeff, you look like a complete fucking asshole now. Well, Dave's cheating anyway. <laughs> he, he said he admitted Jeff, it. Jeff, you said we should play with all the end game powers, so that's on yeah, you. Yeah, we were not gonna do that, and then Jeff forced us to do like, it. But it's like, it takes- uh. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't, Time to go finger my ass again. <laughs> By the way, what difficulty is this? This is a uh, this is normal. Mm. This is baby mode. All right, basically. back. Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking it all back then. Okay, fine. Just, okay, fine. Jeff. He has a point. It's kind of gay. Dave, dude, okay. Dante must die. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I actually stopped playing after that because I just got tired of it. I beat the game seven times. Just oh, like you just got them. tired of it. Also oh, tired of winning. It's hard, <laughs> dude. I had earned like. Three million souls, and I was spending all of them to like fucking buy continues in the game. <laughs> so there we go. We beat the first boss. Now the game says, "All right, good job, game over." And we get the credits because we won. Wait, really? <laughs> oh, you beat the game? Yeah. Like that—that's supposed to be the end boss, and you're supposed to die. <laughs> that was a good playthrough. But I have the end power, so we beat him. Oh. <laughs> Jeff is too stupid to ever do that. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> oh, he's got the puma, or is that a jaguar? <clears throat> Actually, I can't tell. Tell me, Jeff. It's a. It's a. It's a. Puma. It's a puma. Or jaguar. It it's one of them. Is a jaguar Thanks, or a National puma? Geographic. <laughs> What's the difference? I, isn't a puma a jaguar? Wait, uh, uh, puma's not thing. a jaguar? No, I don't think so. No, they're definitely not the same thing, but they're pretty close. They basically look like the same kind of black cat, so... They look like a big black cat, <laughs> so they must be the same. Okay, There's wait. pumas and jaguars. <laughs> Did I ever tell you when I was, like, really young, I saw an ad on TV for puma shoes where the guy You're put them on? No, this is real. He put on, he put the shoes on and he ran like 
at 60 miles an hour. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, Mom, can, into a Puma. No, I was like, Mom, can I get the Puma shoes? She was like, okay. And she brought me to town and bought them. And when I tried running fast, I, I had like an autistic fit because it wasn't working. <laughs> you didn't turn into a Puma? Yeah. Let me tell Chris, you something about Pumas. Wait, can you run, can you like, run at 60 miles per hour? Um, No, I couldn't Not do it. Not normally. I can't, I can't <laughs> now that I'm older, but like back then I couldn't I'm going to tell you right Wait, now. a human being can run at 60 miles per hour. No. Easily. Pumas? No, they can't. I got some Pumas and they fucking blew ass because they only lasted for five months. Months. How many miles per hour could you run? I yeah. fucking tried running on a treadmill and it fucking fell into nothing. It was horrible. <laughs> That's when I was going to the gym with Jeff. I was fucking wearing my Pumas and they were falling apart as I was running. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck's going on in this game? Okay, wait. So, uh, the story is when they first fought that dude that we just saw, right? Yep. They're suppo you're supposed to, like, lose and die, and then Dante saves you and he gets his ass beat, and then you and the Hot Topic dude have to leave? That's Nero, right? Yeah, that's Nero from 4. Okay. So they have to leave, and then they, they spend a month getting stronger, and now they're coming back to fight the dude again, now they're stronger oh. to save Dante. So these two have a very platonic relationship. You defeating that guy has completely, like, warped my perception they, of what's going right. on. I know we can, I know, I, like, I, you I, missed the whole cutscene of Dante <laughs> getting his ass beat, that's true, but... Does she, does he at any point me? slip his dick between her baby teeth? Uh, okay. never. <laughs> baby fucking teeth. I oh. hate that you pointed that out, Chris. Your gummy I'm baby sorry. Teeth. It, it ruined Resident Evil 2. Is there a like, vivid makeup Dave, scene do you like, I mean, uh, Chris, do you like gummy smiles? Gummy smiles? What, what are you talking about? That? You mean people like, with lots of gum in their mouth? No, he, he like, like, like when you lips. smile, when you smile and you see like their gums above their teeth. Like, I mean, not really. Why would I like that? That's, that's how everyone free. smiles Oh, you game. mean like seeing... Yeah, that you know is what I mean. Weird. No, I know what you mean, but that's what, like, do you like people with really long eyelids? It's like I mean, no, I, don't I, don't know, long I don't know what people are into. <laughs> like, there's no point to <laughs> just a question. Do you like like exposing his fetishes live on any place. Do you like people with small legs and long orangutan look. arms? <laughs> look, that's look, look, there's some people. There's some people with only place fans. They're smiling with their gums. They just like frown, they just frown just right now. Look. They're trying to hide their I'm gums kidding. while they're still smiling. <laughs> Scraping you know up. who you are. Oh no. Everybody's laughing right now. So I had conscious. A... No, I'm like, everyone has something wrong with how they look. Just get over it. Yeah, I have a square head and I'm fat. Get What's over it, excuse? you fucking burn victim. <laughs> <laughs> the one burn victim slams his laptop shut. That was, uh, that was square head. Uh, scenario writer. I bet he's real proud of himself. Oh, oh, and then they float around in slow motion and shoot guns for 10 minutes. Oh, Cola Kazuka. Really whatever. impressive, buddy. I think it's cool. Nah, that's pretty cool. Jeff thinks it's cool. I think what if they made a cool. Devil May Cry movie made by uh, Uwe Boll? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> by How do you Bull? pronounce it? Uwe? Uwe Boll? It's Uwe Boll, isn't it? Uwe? Uwe. Uwe. It's Who the Uwe. fuck is that? I always like just said Uwe Boll. I thought it was Uwe Boll. I don't even know. It's Uwe Boll. Uwe Boll. Uwe Boll. Either way, would you watch an Uwe Boll Dante original? Uh, uh, no. She smokes more than you do. What if it did so good it yeah, made a, he made a sequel and it was Dante too? They're hard to watch those movies. And he had to fight the, he had to fight the wait, zombie wait, airplane. Wait. U who is Uwe Boll? What are they He's what are the they guy made? who makes like those shitty game movies like Alone in the Dark and Blood Rain. Yeah, oh, he, holy fuck. That, it would... He made that postal movie. He made the Return of the... What was it? In the Name of the King or something with uh... He did like, like fucking night... Mm. It's like Burt Typing Reynolds of the Dead is based off of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, House of the Dead. Yes! And it was on like a fucking deserted like I like resort island. But Corey, you have to admit, without his movies, the nostalgia critic would not have done the, the three knuckleheads review with Spoonie and Linkara. You, you're right, actually. So we have to thank. Actually, you without his reviews, where, where there... we we wouldn't have any <laughs> big lip alligator moments. <laughs> yes, we would. It doesn't even has nothing to do with it. I don't know what That's fucking that fern gully or some shit. <laughs> Jeff started frowning the moment he said nostalgia critic. He did. I'm ready, I'm ready to leave. His now. fucking big quick. lips sucked into his face and turned brown. He's just mad we haven't watched the Linkara over the fourth wall. Movie. I don't know what I watched that, that is. twice. Yeah, setting me right now. I, for some reason, mm -hmm. I feel like I need to see it. Linkara, like... we know about your spaceship. What? Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like those things, Jeff. Yeah, they're like weird bugs. You're so right. And that's like a normal human being. Yeah, help <laughs> more. Around. And there's a <laughs> truck. Like a well, it's like a halo. <laughs> there's an amputee. You look like you need a hug, but you're not gonna get one from me. Haha, <laughs> yes. Damn. That's why I'm straight. <laughs> Corey, would you come on her, Tom? I would probably still fuck her weird model. <laughs> what do you mean weird what? model? <laughs> she looks fucking weird. Her face, like, angers me. Every time she, like, smiles, she looks like she's, like, 
about she, the she, she, she has the gummy smile that Jeff's talking about. I know. You know, it's, Corey, just, it's just uncanny. It's like when you look like, okay. People only really hate things that they see themselves in. You know that, right? <laughs> And I would see Game. myself inside of her. That was the point I made originally. Yes. You gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta oh, yeah. get the jerk off arm, Dave. You the jerk off arm. Yeah. Oh, Chris doesn't know about this. Oh, oh. yeah. Do the, do the, do the Mega Man one. Yeah, put the Mega Buster on. What the fuck is all this shit? Okay. Where's the dildo? There's an actual Mega Man one. Yeah, yeah. and it changes his animations. Hey, wait, okay. I like, like that Capcom. Makes does him weird jump shit. and slide Where's like the Mega pleasure, Man. Where's the Pleasure Arm 2000? Oh, there's Sweet uh, Surrender. Yeah, there it is. A Devil Breaker made with Kyrie in mind. <laughs> oh, like Corey, do an impression of Dante. A new Dante? Yeah. Uh, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> old Dante's like, <laughs> woo, yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's Royal the Guard! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Royal Guard! He's a little surlier in this one. It's like, so oh, my dark heart went light! <laughs> yeah. Old I can only, I only, the only Dante I remember is the one who's like, woo! Woo! Whenever you're riding on <laughs> demons. I mean, he does You would that be this fired if they hired you to voice Dante. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, do a line, Dante. Woo! He's like, alright, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Like, we want you to get invested in your character. What do you think they would say? <laughs> Royal Guard! <laughs> Royal Guard! Woo! Woo! Your first thing you went to was... <laughs> <laughs> was nothing, that, that does not remind me jump of Jump up and down, Dave. Want to do his Mega Man jump. Mega Man, Mario, Little Man, Dante, Mac, Dante's Andy just... Mo. The thing about Dante that I can't get is he's there like... Is. Uh, he has the Mega Man slide, too. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. The, the thing I can't get about Dante is like... It's like his, like, wittiness, his delivery. Yeah. Like, a demon... Shows up, he's like, ah, oh, I was just getting bored. But that's old Dante. New Dante's like, ah, oh, I was, I can't really do it because he's scruffy. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Dante. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey. Whoa. You don't want to be Dante, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff, you make a good Dante. I'd be, I'd be Dante. Yeah, anybody would be Dante. Jeff, what would you do if you're walking down uh, the street and a guy ran up to you with an umbrella and he, he jabbed you in the stomach with it and ran away? You'd say Royal Guard. <laughs> no, I'm not finished. Yeah, yeah. He would go. Ugh, my tummy. And he goes home, <laughs> and he takes his shit into the sink, and he looks down, and a little tiny Jeff's looking up. Ugh. You're like, Royal Guard! <laughs> 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 well, did you keep it? Would he open the umbrella? I don't know. There's, the umbrella's long gone, dude. Oh. The guy flew away. He's saying there's a tiny little Jeff taking a shit in your sink. <laughs> yeah, he shot into the sink, and now there's a tinier Jeff shitting oh. into the sink. And he's, he's the saying Royal cannon. Guard. Yeah, Royal Guard! Uh. It's like, Royal oh, Guard! <laughs> You go, what, what do you mean? It's like, Ugh. sword style and piss in his face. <laughs> <laughs> you defeat him. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what I did. My aunt would you be like, you know, own blood? My yeah, it's like, like you're pouring a child, salt on a snail. He just melts. Like, your own yeah. blood and your own gone. <laughs> I'm glad I know what you do in that situation now, Jeff. Jeff, well, do you pee out of your ass? So you peed on a little anybody. Jeff and he melted before your eyes. What do you do then? Yeah, Jeff. Then uh, what? <laughs> yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Well, wait. wait for answers. <laughs> Dude, I will say, the graphics in this game are very nice. They do look good. I like, like it. it's cool seeing, like, things attack and stuff, but then when you see, like, characters talk up close or scream in pain... It's not that bad. They do have the baby teeth, but it's not that bad. I wish you, you haven't seen the girls talk. <laughs> yeah, the girls are You well. haven't seen the okay. girls. Okay. Which are, like, squares and ovals. Let me just put that out there. Dude, I don't know why they do the teeth like that. You know what, though? The only it just looks bad on girls. Like, like, like I said, I feel like Nero looks the absolute best in this game. Yeah, no, he, he looks, looks amazing. But uh, the girls look the horrendous. Best. They They look like they were... Lady, modeled lady after Trish, mannequins, lady they don't Trish look normal. Do not look like they're they're they'll make cry four count. No, no, no. I figured out why. No, God, no, I, fuck no. I, I figured right, out why. Definitely they, not four. I mean, yeah. Trish definitely doesn't look like in four. We agree. We agree. I on figured that. out why that it looks the way they do. <laughs> She's got like a fucking I mean, Barbara well, they, Streisand they based nose. Them off yeah, real actresses. Actresses. No, no, I know they based them off real actresses, but you know, real teeth are very like subsurface scattery, and games don't really do that a lot. So light can't bleed through them. So. You know the way teeth have little creases and grooves, like, mm. in between each one, there's like a little line? Like, if, if a light's not bleeding through that, it makes it just look like they're made out of stone and it's fucking creepy. Yeah, that's fair. So, unless light bleeds through them properly, they're gonna look They scary. They look weird. They should just literally- They're just like darkness with, like, teeth. They, should, you can see they should just make groove. them all just, like, one color. Look, you- Look, she's just talking! Your fucking gums cover your mouth when you talk! Look at her! She's not even looking at Dante! She's looking over She's in the sunset! 
She's beautiful. Now she's looking. <laughs> you're, lo you're just being a complete asshole to her. <laughs> she looks fucking gross. She's gonna me too. You. She, <laughs> she, she looks like, I don't know, like she has too much like vivid detail on her teeth when they show up with just like the, like we were talking, the she's black like crevices the of like, favorite, the shadow Corey. darkness. Everyone Listen, loves her. Okay, Trish. That's, uh, that's not Trish. No, what? no, I'm gonna say Trish no, in this game. I was gonna scream. She's got, she's got a schnoz. And if you've played <laughs> four, <laughs> if you've played four, I'm sorry, listen, actress listen who played misogyny. Trish, God. but she doesn't look like that. She's more fucking like close to like the model in that of like um, Dead Rising One, like she, those she, characters. She just kind of looks like a meth addict in this game. Yeah, she doesn't look good. I, I'm sorry. I, even if they base it after an actress, it's like I know you have to keep mocap to like some sort of like face design, but it's like. Come on, could you not even find someone even close to like the facial design of Trish? Same with uh, uh, girl, what in her name, girl, lady. <laughs> Man, me and fucking Veronica were watching Titanic the other day, and we realized that that young Leonardo DiCaprio would have been perfect for Leon Kennedy. He yeah, would have, no, yeah. you were so spot on with that. Like, there, there are certain shots where you're like, that looks like Leon. He's not even remotely tough looking, though. Like, they could have made a no, real. But Leon from Resident Evil 2 is kind of like. He's a rookie. New. He's green. Mm, yeah. Okay. If the dude who was making the Resident Evil movies didn't fucking stick his girlfriend into them, they could have used Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right, yeah. DiCaprio. Sorry, Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci died. DiCaprio. <laughs> I like the Leon they had in the George Romero commercials for Resident Evil 2. You know what I'm talking about? No, no. I don't actually. They did, they did two live action commercials for Resident Evil 2 that George Romero directed. Did you watch that Resident Evil CD movie? Uh, sure. it's called Damnation? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the first one's awesome. I thought they all stung. What? They're you don't like terrible. when they're at the airport? No, it's really boring and <laughs> really stupid and really Dude, boring. Yeah. What's this boring? is off topic with the best the best C game to CG movie is a Tekken the Tekken movie. Is there really? It's it so stupid. Changing. There's a Tekken movie? Yeah. Since when? when uh, it was a few on? years ago. It was made like a te it was made eh, it was when like Tekken 6 came out they made it. Hey, he took his arm. It's garbage though. <laughs> yeah, he did. Why'd he do that? Oh, I knew who that is. Yeah, you have a, you have a feeling? What does his name rhyme with? Uh... Smurgel. <laughs> That's Smurgel? <laughs> that, there he is! It's Smurgel! Wait, Virgil got out of no, the- No, don't say it! <laughs> he got out of the demon hole? <laughs> I don't want to say spoiler of what yeah, Nero is enough. to Smurgel. But... Smurgel is what Smurgel does. Nero's just remembering that time he lost his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Nero cries like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks into a million pieces. <laughs> They're all the soldiers, just like jerking Nero off after he saved him. Okay. He's giving him a high Hitler. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> so this is the next. We're at like mission two, right? How much missions are there? Twenty. <laughs> all right, so we're halfway through. <laughs> Does that say Sephiroth? Oh, you didn't get to see her. Oh, sorry. You see, she was putting on her prosthetic nose. What is she, oh. pussy hole? <laughs> she leans her leg back to show off the goods. <laughs> her pussy hole? She yeah, looks her like pussy Corey. hole specifically. <laughs> Corey. She leans her leg up, you see through the leather, her little pussy peeking out. She winks at you. <laughs> then her weird Michael Jackson nose falls off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Would you prefer cool. Would you prefer if like DVDs and games on the backs of them were more blunt about what's in their games, like right. warning features pussy more. holes, <laughs> assholes? I would yeah, actually. If it told me that warning, this movie has stabbings in the throat, in the head. Eyeballs get being gouged out with spoons. I'd be like, oh man, now nah, I've already seen this. <laughs> you don't have to watch it anymore. That's true. Maybe that is why they do it the way they do, so they don't spoil it. No, every fu- Chris, every movie's like, oh, two friends alone, thinking everything's okay, but not everything is okay. In the shadow is another person, someone they didn't ask to show up to the party. You're right. And then you watch the movie and it's like, it's nobody right. shows up until the very end. <laughs> and then he takes off the mask and the movie ends before you see him. It's like, this movie fucking sucked! And that's every movie! What are you talking about? I don't know! Also, that fucking- that bitch did have fucked up teeth, you're right. See? Yeah. Damn, guys. She's hot when she's leaning against her dirty bench, but when she starts talking, she looks like she's trying to pass a kidney stone. It's annoying. Corey, what would you do if you were at the nightclub grinding up on a, on a hot woman, and then when you walked outside, your jeans were just covered in shit? <laughs> would you be mad? 
<laughs> Would you be really pissed off? <laughs> you go back in and squeeze the rest of the shit out of her? <laughs> you follow the shit trail upstairs <laughs> into the attic. Who goes there? <laughs> If she, if she was grinding on me and I was intoxicated to not realize this was happening, and then I went outside and I was caked in shit, I'd probably come all over the place. Come. You'd have Don't to break lie. through the shit before you can come. I I would want to know who it was. The shit starts covering you. It's so forming. Corey, the there's only two people in the club: Shit Seralda and, and Cleanita. Who the do doors you think are locked. I think it was. Platos, it's Cleanita. <laughs> She's, She's cleaning spraying. up before I come in, and Shirella is the one who's fucking. Shirella was abused as a child. <laughs> Name That's why name. she was called Chitterella. She's really Cleanerella. <laughs> Cleanerella is the real shit. The shit fiend. This is the worst fucking idea. <laughs> you <laughs> did it. This is why no one likes me. <laughs> it was funny. Uh. I will say that I would be mildly upset if there was shit smeared all over my cock when I left the thing, but I would assume that I shit on myself. Mildly. I, I mildly. would assume that I shit myself in the front. Yeah, How would you shit yourself in the front? That makes no sense. Okay. I'm drunk! Nero's demon form looks like, um... It, it looks like Jeepers Creepers, what the mm. fuck? Yeah, I'm cheating. You shouldn't see the demon form. You get that Dude, at the very end of the game. you know Jeepers Creepers? Yeah, okay. Everyone's played it. Do you like Jeepers Creepers? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I like the first movie. Well, no, 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 no. I like one and two. I like one, but I don't that. like it as much as I like two because two, I remember scenes more. One, there's a lot of build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, one, but the build up water. is really satisfying when he finally falls the, down the fucking sewer grate. The actor? No, dude, the director of that movie got added as a pedo really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Which is really sad because I love that fucking movie. It is a good movie. I love that fucking villain. I think he's super it's scary. It's also a great song. Jeepers, creepers, let's get those people. And they were gonna make a third one, but they then, did uh, make a third one, and it oh, sucks cock. Yeah, because oh. he didn't direct. It. He did. He did direct. He it. did direct. And it. it sucks ass. But he was already out as a pedophile, so the he movie lost starts, his juice. It's got the exact same vibe and all, but it's just so stupid and annoying. Like it starts off with his truck, and his truck just keeps killing people, and you're like, okay, I don't fucking That's care. That's stupid. Yeah. That was already the first one! I know. What it was is implied. This? What is this whole thing? I've never seen <coughs> You've this. never seen Jeepers Creepers? No. Uh, is it cool? Yeah, no, I, I honestly love one and two. Jeepers Creepers What's is- it? it's, a, it's a movie he's from just what, like, like, the 80s? Don't ruin it! Don't let him watch it! Can I- I, I don't want to say what it is, but- school bus of kids. No, don't ruin it! Just let him watch it! Just That's two! Dave, no, let's just watch it, Dave. Let's just watch it. You should watch it. Yeah, I'm down to watch it. Yeah. The first one's all about build-up, and the second one is all about, like, really over-the-top yeah. spectacle kills. It's really cool. It's super all right, cool. sweet. Yeah, let's, let's watch it. I never saw the third one, so yeah. if I'm gonna watch that, I'm gonna be vividly Let disappointed. Let me ask him, does the third one feel like, does it really resolve anything, or no. not? No. No. Okay. That's They're, what I've heard. Third one's stupid. We were watching Chucky not long ago. That's yeah, another no. movie I haven't seen in a hundred years. Dude, I had never seen those ever. I always thought it would be kind of gay, but it was no, actually no, pretty no, cool no. watching it with you. As a kid, Chucky scared the fuck out of me. Because if nobody knows, I'm, I was terrified of blinking dolls as a child. So <laughs> blinking? see, Blinking? Why do you mean blinking? Like dolls that blink. You why, know, why blinking? Why? What? what? I, I don't know. It's an. It, it's one of those phobias that people have that they can't really explain. Okay, that's fair. It's just uncanny when a doll blinks and yeah. you don't do anything. Yeah. The idea of that is scary. Like I remember one time I was grounded and I was in my room mm. and there was my sister's doll was on a chair and I was looking at it and the whole time I was like, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink in my mind, and then it fucking blinked thirty minutes later. <laughs> And it, it blinked. It like You're blinked. Up. And it, I remember that, and I couldn't say anything. I couldn't scream. I was so scared. But I'm, I know that was just my brain playing tricks on me because I was thinking that it was. Were you blinked. in the dark? Like the dead at the dark? Yeah, the it was dark. dark. No, no. My eyes play tricks on me in the dark, too. Yeah, it was yeah. dark, and the light was shining on its fucking stupid face. Yeah. And I could see it. It was like something out of a horror movie Wait. where the light only shined on a dumbass weird face. Is this like sleep paralysis or something? No, no, I was awake. <clears throat> I was well. leaning on my bed looking at it, hoping it didn't blink. <laughs> and then it just blinked. Just sitting there. It blinked? blinked? What? It blinked. The doll blinked in your room. No, yes. I, 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 he's saying he thinks it was like uh, an illusion or I, I, that he I'm imagined I'm pretty sure my brain, like, oh. Because it's one of those things where it's like, it's happened before where I was laying in bed, like, recently a neighbor died at my mom's house. Yeah. And I was and thinking, went into the doll. no, 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 he used to walk by our house all the time. So I, I would be used to seeing a shadow when he'd come by to like get the lawnmower. Mm. And he did that like constantly. So he died a day before he usually got the lawnmower. Oh. So the next day when I was asleep at night, I remember what a shadow looked like. I was like, man, I'd be so terrified if a shadow walked by my fucking, <clears throat> my 
like vividly lit up room yeah and a shadow walked by my fucking that's room scary. right when i thought that that's and scary. i ran outside because i was like i was just i was almost in like panic this i couldn't was believe what i saw no this was like 10 years ago oh, okay and this is your brain going insane yeah it was dude your brain can do a lot of scary shit if you're like if you're constantly like i don't want to see anything i don't want to see anything you're gonna fucking see something yeah because you put your brain on it do you ever have something like where you like i have a chair in my <laughs> in my bedroom yeah, and yeah. There's, like there's a shirt hanging over the mm. side of it and I always wake up in the corner of my eye and it always looks like a person and it freaks me the fuck oh, out. Oh, that fucking like, sucks all, so bad. Like, every, I don't move this shirt and it happens every morning. I think there's someone look, standing over me. That's happened with like a coat rack, definitely. <laughs> with like weird like like raincoats and yeah. shit really give off weird illusion. Because when I used to have my room in the main like foyer entrance when you come into like my mom's house, my the room fuck? used to be right there and there was a coat rack. <laughs> what did you just do? He put a walket in his pocket. Wow. <laughs> a little walket. <laughs> No, but when, uh, Corey, when I was younger, that shit used to happen to me, too, where, uh, my grandma had this weird, uh, blue painting of, like, a, an old Irish lane with a mansion at the end and, like, little people on horses at the, yes. at the bottom, and I used to just look at it, and they'd be, like, walking around and, like, moving, and the trees would be swaying, and it would just be, like, scary. Yeah, but at night, like, yeah. it's because shadows, any kind of shadow that's, like, moving creates, like, the illusion that it's, like, it's, your brain... That's why when people say, like, I saw shadows at night when I was in a place alone with no one else there and only me and my fucking self. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course you saw a fucking shadow walking by you unsuspiciously. You want to hear something else that's kind of funny? Yeah. One night when I was really young, I had to sleep in my mom and dad's bedroom and uh, they had a... Oh, a no. They had a... They had a no, they're not, they didn't fuck or nothing. But they had a similar... <laughs> fucked next to you. <laughs> you went, oh, no. Here we go. And they were like, Chris, stop <laughs> making so much noise. No, no. Noise. Shut and up. They, 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 you. <laughs> they had a... They had a similar painting on their wall that was like a weird, like old timey painting, and I, I would look at it and I would see little things move, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd look over at my dad, who was also like just awake in bed, and he'd look over at me, and I'd look back at the painting, and there'd be little moving guys look back at him, and he'd look back at me, <laughs> and, I, and I was just like, wow, he knows what he's know he, he sees it too, he knows what's going on. And then in the morning, I'd be like, Dad, remember those little moving things? He was like, No, you were just freaking me out. And I was like, <laughs> like, just like oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the little moving guys, they say, shut up. No, those little moving guys are fucking assholes. I mean, we, we talked about this before. We talked about, like, sleep paralysis. Like, I haven't had sleep paralysis in quite a long time. Yeah. Oh. But I I have seen, like, at my old dad's house, when we used to live um, somewhere. I don't know where the fuck. It wasn't Vermont, but it was maybe somewhere in Iowa. Ooh, um, we Iowa. I used to live next to a playground. Yeah. So we saw shadows a lot. Because we didn't live next to a playground. Like, right across the street was a playground. Right. And, um, I remember I used to see, like, people on the, the ceiling just dancing, just spinning around, just <laughs> shadows, just dancing. That's scary. I recently just made, uh, my sleep paralysis demon in Blender. Really? <laughs> yeah. I so I didn't forget it. Oh, shit. That's Here, awesome. it's on screen right now. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Why do you put that on? We're playing game, Chris! I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeff smiled when he saw it. A little bit. His little, his little boner trickled around. <laughs> yes, yeah. Jeff. His little boner trickled You said you beat this game seven times. What, what's the one challenge you haven't been able to beat yet? Because you're missing a life bar, Dave. Uh, ooh. ooh. I, yeah, I, I, there, oh, it's not that I can't beat out. it. There's certain secret missions I just can't find. I didn't use a guide. I've uh, done uh, okay. I've done all this game without a guide thus far. Uh, right. Dave's a Puritan. Right. He doesn't all use right. guides. That's he is good. a charlatan, you're right. He is a Puritan. He is, yeah. Dude, I like the backgrounds in this game. It reminds me of DMC. I, I know that it's like blasphemy, but there is this part where you're in like a dilapidated building yeah. with like Chris, do you wanna do you things? wanna do you wanna like play the, the devil's advocate for DMC and I, tell I everyone it's not that bad of a game? No, we already played through, we just played through it on the channel and it was I, I did. I enjoyed looking at it like I don't really enjoy playing these games, but yeah. that, like that's just me. They're it's fun a beautiful to watch. game. And I mean no that 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 game studio makes really nice looking games. Yeah, no, but I, I thought it was like fun and funny and just weird and yeah. it was interesting enough and stood out on its own. Dave, we should Every play DMC2 again. No! <laughs> Literally no. We should! No! We should! I that, played it! You got so fucking pissed, you made me afraid. You were like losing your fucking mind when those wolves were like clipping you through the walls. This is exactly the kind of thing I like. Sorry to you. Actually, no, fuck that, he's boring. Turn this off. <laughs> this boss okay. fight. That's you, Chris. <laughs> I remember seeing like Lexi doing Whoa. this on the demo like so many goddamn times. Same with you. Yeah, Jeff played the demo shell out as well. Yeah, he's like the final boss in the demo, so we played the shit out of that. He's really cool. He does like everything you want in a boss fight. Jeff, you would call us Fox for you playing the demo over and over, and then you'd go home and I'd see you online and you'd be playing the demo. Oh yeah, that's another thing! <laughs> you gotta tell the story about how like, you'd be like, Wow, 
Jeff's invested like 52 hours in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When this game oh. came, when this game came out, we all work at the office, and I couldn't help but play it like a ton. And then uh, I started to feel bad because I was getting like less work done. So I would hop online, and my rule was if Jeff was playing it, I would play it. And Jeff was playing this game like 24-7 non fucking stop. I was like, God, Jeff loves this fucking game. So do I. It turns and out all I was doing was playing YouTube on my PS4, but it was showing this. Yeah, he was playing YouTube, but he was just saying he was playing Double May Cry 5. I played this game for like a hundred extra hours. Is that seriously yeah, real? Yeah. yeah. I only played wow. this one time. Like I was not like, playing it. Like hundred hours in DMC, but he was just on YouTube. Oh. I, like it started to get weird after a while. I was like, like damn, like it, this is kind of autistic. Like Jeff's had, playing it, this at like 4 a.m. It had this game and the YouTube app loaded into memory, but for some reason and it was showing me doing this. It's because you had this game minimized and opened up yeah. YouTube or something. Yeah. yeah. That is the weirdest bug ever. That made That's me feel funny. like an asshole. I, I would laugh. I laughed pretty hard. That was so hard. goddamn funny. <laughs> you David. were like, how many achievements you got? You're like, dude, I played it like what twice. That, that was the weird thing. That was a weird thing because because um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this game this game has an achievement for beating a certain amount of enemies, for beating a thousand enemies, which you do after like just a few yeah, hours, yeah, but I Jeff never know. got it. He was playing it. Like, you would have had to have played over 100 hours. Yeah, you I was were like, like, what was this autistic <laughs> moron? Yeah. Like, no, no, I was like, Jeff must be like just rubbing his face against like the textures in the scenery. He's like, not playing I'm, the game. I'm, I'm doing like the Metal Gear Solid, like, you have like 100 hours in the game, but something. you haven't killed a thousand enemies. Like, how is that even humanly possible? <laughs> Jesus, Jeff. A leg wall got ya. Dave, you wasted your whole life over a fucking bug. Yeah. yeah. That's I awesome. I was, I, I, I was fucking watching like tool restoration videos and Dave's like sweating playing this at night. <laughs> trying to catch up oh, to me. I didn't want you to beat it before me. <laughs> I was like, Jeff's gonna beat it on Dante Must Die before I can. So Jeff, how far did you get? Did you I ever just beat, beat it? it one time. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like his like no, gorilla No, I started animations. playing it again on, the, on um... Yeah. Sparta, whatever mode or whatever, but uh... Then I got distracted with um... Sekiro, because Sekiro came out... On. <laughs> like like a week after this, so I just went to that, and then after that, I didn't I didn't I never finished that game because then I went out to San Diego to, or Burbank to see you guys. I lost interest in Sekiro pretty this fucking guy, fast. This guy this guy reminds me of Beowulf. Yeah. I've, I've still got to beat Sekiro. Chris, Sekiro. What yeah. is what is all right? So Dark Souls is your favorite from software game. Well, like what's your like your second and third favorite? Uh, okay, no, I like Dark Souls one, very then, good. Then uh, Bloodborne, Demon then Souls. Demon Souls, then Dark Souls two, then Dark Souls three. That's fair. The thing about Dark Souls 3 that, like, it, it, it's like a common argue point, is I played Demon fuck. Souls. I didn't beat it. I got halfway through it. Demon Souls is flawed and not that great, but it's still, it, like, got so much heart and soul. It, and it is fun, but I will say that there are some areas that are fucking dastardly. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, it's, it's completely, like, flawed, but... It is fun, though. But I, it feels way more like an actual world than fucking Dark Souls 2 or 3 does. Dark Souls 3 pretty much just, like, retreads the book on Demon Souls. Dark Souls 3 is nothing Dark Souls to me. 1. It's fucking boring. It pretty much, after playing Demon Souls, I understand now why there were so many, like, people who were upset with Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Because it was too much of, like, nostalgia baiting. Yeah. There wasn't enough, like... And I get it now, because I play Demon Souls, so yeah. I understand... The games. Like, that was the one game I hadn't played. I played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, and this one. And now I understand it's why just, people dude, had such a problem with Dark so Souls 3. It's so frustrating that in Dark Souls 2 and 3, like, you think they would have fixed it again for 3, that you have to go back to this fucking place to level up. Why can't they just let you sit at the fire and do it? I prefer that. I don't, I don't really yeah, I like, like having a Herald. Dude, he looks like fucking Finn Wolfhard. That's it. He does! <laughs> Don't Finn! <laughs> it, uh, that, when you were saying, like, placing stuff, that stuff reminds me of, like, Dragon's Dogma. Because you can place, like, teleporter points. Wait, wait, no, I want you to say Dragon's Doge from now on, okay? Dragon's I will Don't not that. say Bruce, that. Do not Word. say that. <laughs> Have you ever played Dragon's Dogma? I want to. W I want to watch Jeff play it. It's well, a very may, good we game. Play it. I've been wanting to play it for months. I'd I'm be going, more than happy to oh, watch it. Oh, it's so good. It, uh, I'm gonna have to. I, mean, I haven't played the same it. Guy I made this. It's, so I'm down. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's it's fun when you wait. It's it is. It's yeah, by the yeah. guy I made Devil. Uh, by Devil May Cry three, four, and five. What? You get these things in in the game called they're pawns, right? Is that what they're called? Fodder. <laughs> Basically, oh my God, and, and, and he's not wrong. <laughs> but like, you go, you go into like a corridor. I was, I was thinking it, you guys are gonna call them slaves, and I'm like, what could be worse than slaves? What could like, be even worse? It's what could be even worse? That should be the name of a band. That's it awesome. Should, yeah. Dragon's Dog is like a weird circular story. Dog, it's hard, hard to explain. explain. <laughs> no, it's it's really good when the pawn system is really interesting because it's like. You basically have these brain-dead pawns who don't even know their ass from their 
like fucking elbow. <laughs> and you you have to teach Corey, them how to be Corey, human beings. Tell me how you describe them dying and coming back to me. I mean, they're so stupid. You go into a place that they're learning, and they're like, they're like, uh, uh, he's like, does he say arisen? Is that you, what it is? You said they come into the room and they're Yeah, they're like, like, hold forth arisen. I will go forth. And they go out and immediately get hit by someone <laughs> with a fucking hammer and knocked off a cliff and die. And then they teleport back in. They're like, oh, that was a that was a trifling challenge. And they go out and like, don't worry. I will check out again. And they immediately walk outside and get hit again. Boy. And they repeat the process. It's like, the thing is, once they get hit like three or four times and they get knocked enough around, they're like, Oh, there's an enemy right there. Yeah. So when you come in with a person who doesn't hasn't played the place, they'll be like, "Oh, arisen! There was an enemy with a hammer out there. Be careful!" I mean, <laughs> and they warn you ahead of time, so you kind of like they get their ass kicked enough to learn not to go to certain they learn, places. They do learn. They learn things through fighting yeah. it, and like other you can. So, so basically, you ha you make one pawn for yourself, and you can hire two more of two other people's no. pawns. Yeah. So if you have a friend on your friend list, you can hire their pawn. That's yeah. cool. And it's really cool. And they can learn stuff from your game and then go back to their game with like new information on yeah. how to beat something. So when you walk into a room, they'll be like, Arisen, this person's weak to light. And it's like, you're like, okay. So you come in and you know that you have to use like a light spell. Or you come in, they're like, fire is what you should no. use here, yes, Arisen. Yes, no. Yes. And it's just like, <laughs> yes, you no. basically, they know secrets too. Like they're like, there is a secret somewhere in this room. Yeah, and and yeah. like, oh, there's all this like hidden like stuff. And that's because, as the previous player found the secret, yeah. they gained that knowledge. Because once you go back, you basically like quiz them. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, you're like, "All right, idiot, what'd you learn today?" And yeah. they're like, "I learned about secrets and wolves." And you're like, "All right, cool. You leveled up a point." And then you go online to see like people that rating so your fucking pawns. awesome. You go online it's to cool. see what people are rating they're your like, pawns. Holy fuck, he knows about secrets and wolves. You go online to see secrets what people are rating wolves. your pawns. And you yeah. have this like idiot with a slow attack, right. so nobody he doesn't help anybody. So people are just like, your pawn fucking sucks. You get one and a half stars. <laughs> yeah. But then you have this like this like little tyke pawn who has like a super magic power who can shoot like fucking like demon wind and kill everything instantly. Like, wow, this pawn fucking rocks. You should get this pawn. Well, so it's like very one sided. Wait, Corey, what was your pawn's name? Do you remember? Did you name one? Did you make one? I, I had. You guys make one. I, I had so a. I had a, a heavyweight. And I called him Dillweed. Uh, and the, uh, yeah. the girl's name was. Uh, it was like Ponita or something. Yeah, I made. Ponita. I made. A, I made a really old man named Mr. Handsome, and I just gave him the most fashionable outfit imaginable. But uh. It's it's really fun. You no, nobody wants a rent old man. They like no. the little lolly. The they like the little pons. lolly ones, or the girls would like because you get like in the game. The, they have armor sets in the game that like are like tight spandex like g-strings you can mm -hmm. put on your like girl So you have these like fucking Amazonian girls with tight g-strings that use like massive swords And they have like five stars out the ass like whoa she fucking rocks Woo! I love this character. I will say people can rate and vote on your character I made the worst my pawn was the worst though because of all the classes <laughs> yeah. I made the, him the worst class because That's he was what I'm just, saying that's what you got one star He's this slow moving asshole with a broadsword, but he's you don't ever make a pawn that's that's a, like the barbarian class because he can't do shit. No, you make a pawn who can heal or do mage attacks because then you can shoot like fucking blizzard tornadoes and kill everything instantly. Everything in the game needs to be climbed and stabbed in the head and these things, <laughs> and these guys just want to hack at their ankles and they're stupid, they're worthless. And you still won't switch to Son of Sparta mode. We're on Son of Sparta mode! Yeah, you fucking dweeb power. You, you wanna bet. play and Dante Must Die? Be. That's the one. <laughs> there you go. No, thanks. I'm gonna play Dante and Must Cry. In, in, in Dante Must Die, you walk into a room and a demon immediately slashes you and you fall over and die. <laughs> this is really hard. Oh, oh yeah. Like, oh wait, sorry, go on. Oh no, wait, what were you gonna say? Sorry. I was gonna say Dave said he had a, a fucking epic story earlier and he was saving it. Oh. Oh yeah. I, I do I do have a story here, Jeff. Do you want do you wanna play while I tell my story, Jeff? I could Wait, wait, wait let's watch this first. What's going on here? It almost looks like he's passing a kidney stone. She's the most beautiful fucking puck I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> My tattooed goddess. I want to punch her teeth out of her head. <laughs> you want to punch her in her fucking- her eye model and teeth remain the same spot, but her fucking skin? <laughs> like ragdolls on the ground? <laughs> they should add ra ragdoll face physics next. They should. It's the next breakthrough. That's a flashlight. Yeah, is that the comfy hand? <laughs> it's got the perfect grip. 
<laughs> How do you know that's a fucking name of it? Wait, who the fuck is that? That's that, Birdhauer. That, that's V's Bird Griffin. <laughs> is that V as a Griffin? Did he animorph? <laughs> that's not V as a Griffin, he animorph. He has a pet, he has evil shadow pets. Dude, she looks just like this fucking him. bitch, dude. This Wait, music. What? what? This is like something you would hear in fucking Persona. Yeah, kinda. So that it's like really chilled and like relaxing. And now it's like- He's a Joker fan too, Dave. <laughs> what is she like doing? You. Jeff. Yeah? Would you fuck Nico? Take my lead now. Yes. Is that her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's her. <laughs> Chris, she kinda smiles like you. She does a little bit. I'll give you that. She has a big yes. goofy grin from ear to ear. <laughs> I want to see it again. These kind of. <laughs> she has a nice mouth. <laughs> That's your problem, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's how Jeff always talks. Pretty much every day. Jeff, would you let her put that cigarette out on your ball sack? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just Jeff looking for upgrades, and she's that. just like. <laughs> <laughs> his blue veins started pulsating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> blue vein on his penis. What? Hey, no, is that? No, my forehead. Just you your blue veins. His anime vein. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, my story is, uh, this is this is at Magfest, uh, like years and years ago at this point. But there's this app called Yik Yak, and that lets you just sort of see like tweet like posts from other people, but only within a certain radius. Mm. So I was at Magfest, and I was bored. And I saw a Yik Yak post saying like, if somebody wants to get sucked off, meet me by the crazy taxi machine. And I was like, whoa. That's fucking awesome. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. I was like, I'm not doing anything. I can go for getting sucked off right now. So I go to the crazy taxi machine and I start playing it. I, I respond to the post. I'm just like, yeah, I'm down for being sucked off. <laughs> no, you did not. I, I, I swear to God, I did. Are I you was serious? that fucking horny. Yeah, yeah, I was. And I wasn't <laughs> seeing anybody at the time. So I was like, this is cool. I was like, this is what living life is all about. So I said, yeah, I would like to be sucked off. That sounds very cool. And they you were said like, it very politely. <laughs> and I was like, please and thank you. Please suck me off. <laughs> I would really appreciate you like just gulp the cum out of me. I would really just love that. <laughs> so I, I go to the arcade place to play Crazy Taxi and uh, I'm just chilling out. I'm playing it and nobody's really nearby. And uh, then all of a sudden, like, they, they said like they'd be there soon in like the little thread there and the thread's like totally anonymous. Right. So I'm like, okay, cool. Just gotta, I'll just enjoy this cool game till uh, my cock gets sucked off. <laughs> and uh, then all of a sudden, like, you know, people wait behind each other to play arcade games, but all of a sudden there's like this creepy fucking like old dude who's like 60 years old and like he's way older than anybody else at MAGFest and uh, he's just there and I'm like, oh, okay, well maybe he wants to play. I hope, I hope the game suck sucked me off Yeah, soon. he does want to fucking play. Yeah. And uh, then all of a sudden I'm like checking the phone. They're like, I'm not seeing any response. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, what if, what, what if they're not actually a girl? <laughs> And then I'm playing the game and the person's just kind of like licking their lips and like Dave. looking at me and their hand is on the chair. This is you. This is you. This is you waiting for him, dude. They're like tracing the outline on your shoulders. I'm fucking like, like fire shooting out of my cocks. I'm waiting. Dave, how do you well, do He said the old man is like fucking oh, yeah. rubbing up his cock. Is yeah, exactly. That's what you the old saying. man is getting max exceeds looking at me. <laughs> So I'm sitting there and I'm playing the game very nervously at this point, fucking up all the drop-offs and crazy taxi. <laughs> and uh, the person on the the person on my phone, they respond. I'm like, oh my god, okay, okay. Hey, what, what are they gonna say? Oh, I heard this part. You uh, said you could hardly contain your boner and turn around. Right <laughs> no, that's not it. I could contain my boner. I was getting scared <laughs> looking at them. You could. Well, like I could see them in the reflection of the game, and I was getting fucking nervous. And then the phone, I checked it. And they said, I'm here, winky face. Oh my and like, God. the old man's looking at me, and I'm like, oh my fuck, oh my fuck, I regret this, I regret this so fucking much. And like, I don't know what to do, I'm like sweating, it's like, I don't want to be sucked off by an old dude, and I'm being looked at weird. And like, the time on the counter is running down, and it's, it, it, it's just like really bad. Time's running out. Exactly, and then like, I don't know what to fucking do. And then all of a sudden, they like tap me on the shoulder, and they're like, are you done playing the fucking game yet? Like, I've been waiting for my turn for fucking forever. <laughs> and I was like, oh, 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 okay. 
And then I checked my phone, and they're like, where are you? And by the crazy taxi machine that's by Dig Dug, and that's the one across from the arcade place. Oh. And I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, are you a guy or a girl? They're like, I'm a man, baby. I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm just going to fucking tell it to begin with. Fuck you. You deserved every moment of that. I, yeah. I, I do, but... Yeah, I do. You do. And also, uh, that means you had probably the best game of Crazy Taxi of all time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that, anyone... That timer really fucking meant, like... <laughs> it it, it, it that really was a real life something. experience. Yeah. I was, see, I've never been, like, more, like, awkwardly nervous in my whole life. Are you going to, uh, associate Crazy Taxi with that from now on? Uh, kind of. I've totally fucking so learned my lesson. So every I've... time you play Crazy Taxi, you'll see the silhouette of a fucking old man <laughs> behind you running his talk. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be crazy. <laughs> Why'd you destroy the last cherry tree? Yeah, I'm, you I'm panicking. I forget <laughs> every. I forget the entire Jeff. control screen for this. He fr listen. He had to tell a story. Story's over. Hey Jeff, you tell me crazy stories about all of your sexts and weird shit like that. <laughs> I'll tell you a story my mom stories. told me the other day. We were we were, my parents had on the movie. Uh, spoilers to this movie, but Shutter Island. Oh. And at the end. I don't know if, if you've seen it, the the wife drowns their kids, right? Yeah. And my mom get all like, she like covered her face, and I'm like, I'm like, my mom likes cutting Tarantino movies, so I don't know why the hell she was getting all weird about the end of this movie. And I'm like, what happened? And she's like, oh, I never told you this, but when I was in college, I would babysit my neighbor's kids. And the one time I came home, there were police cars outside. And I went over and the cop told me the wife took her kids out to the Delaware River and just drowned them. Oh my god. Oh my god. And she got what locked fuck, up man. in a mental institution. Yeah. Jesus. Why there did she go, do man. it? She just didn't want to take she care of kids anymore? Crazy. Yeah, I guess. She just went nuts. You know, sometimes I mean, you just gotta go some nuts. Yeah, you just gotta, <laughs> just gotta live, you know? I swear, man, like... I I could not take care of kids. I I, I could any, not drown my child. I just couldn't yeah, no, do it. I would probably like okay for me. It's like anytime I hear a kid or like I, I swear I'm cursed. Anywhere I go, I always hear kids like the giggling of kids having fun, and it fucking <laughs> enrages me because I hate like Dude. just laughter and just it just annoys the fuck out of me. But then like if I had a kid and when I was little, like when I was like twelve, I had to watch my like one year old brother. And I fucking hated it. Maybe that's where my hate for like whining babies comes from because like I had to watch my baby brother and I didn't know what to do because I didn't know how to make a fucking bottle and I didn't know what I was doing. I just had to watch him. He just bitched all day while I tried playing um, some golfing game on the PlayStation 1. Yeah. And holy Ooh. shit, man. Like I to even to like I still have like fucking PTSD memories of babies crying and just kids crying because of that shit. Because I had to watch kids. I definitely couldn't be a parent. I'd be a bad parent because, like, um, I would just fuck with my kids. As fucked up as this is <laughs> That's say. illegal. No, I wouldn't fuck them. I would fuck with them. Like, I, I would, if I, I would just screw around with them. They'd come home one day, and I, I, <laughs> I would just burn their stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. I would just hide certain would items in the room. walk naked on hot coals. I would just, <laughs> no. I would throw the radio in the bathtub. It would be so funny. <laughs> No, but uh, Corey, I figured it out. You know the way kids, uh, kids' voices and kids talking and screaming and all that's so fucking annoying. Yeah, it's because there's this frequency that humans fucking hate. It's between two thousand hertz and five thousand hertz. Yeah, and it's it, just fucking sounds babies. And make. their voices are just always <laughs> at that, so it fucking sucks. Yeah, and the only thing babies know to do is cry and eat and shit, and it's just like, but what? But like I said, if I had a kid, first of all, I'd want to like. I mean, like, I would want to get a kid who's a little older. I'd yeah. be down for adoption, obviously. But at the same time, I would feel the need to want to fuck with them. Because if they were bad kids, <laughs> like, yes. I, I would just, like... So, they would come home, and, like, they were just being a little shit. So I'd go into their room, and I would hide something, and they'd walk in it. I'd be like, I took something from your room. Try and guess what it is. That's fine. But I wouldn't actually take anything Corey, from your room. This is, <laughs> if this is the shit your dad did to you, probably. No. This is exactly dad, what your dad did to you. My dad would actually take my stuff and go outside and smash it with an object. So you would just That's, do one step below I wouldn't it. do it. Corey, I would you're gonna psychologically. Repeat the cycle. You're going you're gonna to make your kids turn into you. No, I would just be I would be creative with how I fucked my kids. You're going to turn your kids into your dad. I would be creative with how I fucked with my kids. <laughs> I would sprinkle coconut uh, shavings on their hair. <laughs> what was it? What was the coolest thing you owned as a kid? I had this. Uh, I had this Mad Max go kart. 
That was really cool. You had a Mad Max go kart? I mean, it was like I mean, it was a steel frame with like wooden boards for a chair and a fucking lawnmower engine in the back. That's fucking Even, like, awesome. Even like the steering wheel was me like everything was metal. That's dangerous, but it's oh, fucking cool. Oh my god, it was crazy. Yeah, I think it really fucking fat. I felt like I was gonna die every time I was in it. All the shit, everything <laughs> I've ever owned was garbage. My dad was just like, go garbage. wild, man. Just, we had a few acres to drive around on, so I just like went nuts. I had this, um, I guess the coolest thing I ever had was I had this like weird Frankenstein doll. That you could open up its chest and it had like all these like, uh, like organs you could take out and it would make noises whenever you removed its organs. Oh, I remember that. I never had it, but my friends did. Yeah, and you could like, the, the point of the toy was you're supposed to take the organs out and misorganize it. So like he says different stuff. Like you take his heart and put it in his foot, and you take his like <laughs> lungs and stick it in his. So it's basically like a toy for psychopaths, but it was a really cool toy. Yeah. And one day, you know, this is another reason why I had a fear of like fucking dolls and shit and weird shit like that. One day, in the middle of the night, it just started having going like haywire and just like its its eyes used to like light up. It had this blue eyes that would light up. <laughs> yeah. And it just lit up in the middle of the night and just started saying stuff. Nothing interacted with it. It just started going off. And I guess that's what happens when, it's like, when you watch videos, it's like really funny of watching like Furbies when they're dying, they're like, Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
So when you go to public places, you basically, it, it's yeah. not like chloroform, but it's something you fucking wrap <laughs> over their face <laughs> what? that just like knocks them out immediately. Like chlorophyll? No, it's just like you you, you spray them like a dog and they're out yeah, like immediately. That's exactly like, like they're like sitting there. <laughs> it's no different at all. No! They're having like a hissy fit. You should fit. make something that's like a baseball bat where you just fucking <laughs> smash the shit out of them. No, no. They're having a hissy fit. They're like, I want, I want this. And you just spray them with a water bottle and they fucking topple it fucking over. Burns them and then the you goo. pick them up by a leg and drop them in the cart and take them home. And when they wake up, they're asleep in their bed and they're just like, it's like you were asleep for five hours, and then when they start screaming, you spray them again, and they're out. <laughs> they wake up with like massive lumps on this their head. This is like that Corey. fucking black mirror where they yeah, keep knocking that but guy. But imagine, out. Corey, imagine listen. going on an airplane, an airport place, and a parent is in there with a crying baby, yep. and then she just goes, and it's out, but it's it's peacefully, <laughs> you know, it's peacefully sleeping. Like they just hit people in anime. No, where they no. fucking hit their necks and they drop down. On it's the ground. not like a foam finger coming out hitting it on the side of its fucking <laughs> temple. It's literally like a baby just. Listen, just sleeping. It's just it's put them on their stomach snooze. and they'll suffocate on their own. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if there was some kind of spray that could just incapacitate babies, you're making me. Think. I would buy that. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't buy that. You go to a public I'm place, a, a parent is. doesn't have it. You kind of give them like the proper knot, and then you just spray the baby you in the face. You just stick something, something <laughs> called an acid you attack. You just stick cord. something sharp <laughs> in her head, and a little gelatinous <laughs> skull will like reseal itself. Dude, that's sick. That looks cool. No. I'm telling now. you, oh. listen, am I a bad person for thinking there should be a spray that incapacitates no, kids and babies? No, you're completely In a justified. perfect world, Hell that yeah. would be wonderful. But they're not, it's not like chloroform, you're not like wrapping a fucking towel around their mouth and <laughs> taking them out accordingly. Instead of a towel, it's just a little squirt to the face. It's, it's a, yeah, completely it's like different. It's like spraying a, a dog who shit on the, on the floor. You're just spraying Except a baby. Except it knocks them out. Corey, what if you got the towel, put it on the baby's head, then squirt it into it over and over? <laughs> well, then you're just a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I saw... I saw someone post a picture online once where a lady was getting on the flight with her baby and she gave everyone on the flight earplugs and I thought that was the best that's thing. That's a very kind thing yeah, to that's do. A, that's that still kind of sucks though because you have to wear earplugs the whole flight. Still it's though- It's better than a fucking baby. Still though, imagine if you went to a place and they had crying baby and they had like fucking all you can have earplugs. Like that's very kind. Yeah. That's I would actually be like, you know what? You're a good parent. Yeah. Because you know your kid's just fucking annoying and you're tired you know, your kid's of it. like a massive fucking- <laughs> You can't even handle it yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, bah, bah, bah. But, ow, ow, ow! Owie, owie, owie! <laughs> it's this weird octopus lady with nice tits. Uh, she's perfect. She's a perfect figure. This is what children grow up into when their parents don't beat the shit out of them in the middle of this <laughs> like, two fucking... Yeah, we could have beautiful women like this, <laughs> but people just don't know how to raise their children. All you need is, to make this spray, all you need is some kind of concentrated chloroform that goes through the skin's pores. Here, I'll, I'll say this, when we're, when we're at the diner and the kids start crying and Corey's having like insane rage and his like face is slowly getting like redder and redder with anger. <laughs> When, Je when Jeff hears the kids, his pants just get tighter. That, that's it. <laughs> wow! Corey, your interpretation of science is if I dip the baby in chloroform for like Man. 10 days straight, dip it in chloroform, he'll eventually just absorb it and be calm. <laughs> just like dip it in a thing of amino acids <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> just sleep forever. Yeah, if you, uh, you know, if you dip it in amino acids, it's probably not gonna wake up after that. <laughs> That'll make them strong. Yeah, it makes them stronger, exactly. Amino See, Chris acids. It would send them to the sleep dimension permanently. <laughs> Corey, what would you do if a baby's enzymes just disappeared? Enzymes? What's, what's enzymes? None of your frickin' business. <laughs> then I don't know how to respond to this question. <laughs> Isn't that little sugars inside your body that cause chemical reactions? I gotta know something. What? Dave told me something. Chris? Yes? And I need to know if this is true. Ew, a beautiful vixen. That's why it had yeah. nice titties, because lady was inside <laughs> of it. Okay. Dave told me that cats emit this thing. No, I want to. I want to say. True. I want to say. Hold on. He said that they have parasites inside of them that make you like cats. They do. They do. Yeah. It's apparently. True. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. I've heard this too, where everyone in Brazil is infected with this parasite that makes you want to fuck and like cats. Fuck and like cats. Okay, Dave didn't tell me. No, this. they make you fuck cats. They make you want to fuck other humans, but also enjoy the company of cats. But no, that's why there's crazy cat ladies apparently, because you get scra cat scratch fever, you get scratched by a cat, the parasite's like, love the cat, get more cats, and then you get more cats, you become a crazy cat this woman. That's exactly what I was saying, but you didn't believe me! No, no, the thing is, I've had cats. Uh, my mom is a crazy cat lady. And do you like lady. cats? Yeah, I like well, cats. there you go! Well, no, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> oh, okay, go on. I, I like cats, and let me tell you, I've gotten my fair scare of scratches. Yeah. 
from the fucking cats, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really necessarily need a fucking cat. I would like one, but I'm not like fucking salivating at the mouth to get a cat. Yeah. So I don't no, think that really applies to me. I just heard it so. Maybe much. there's certain people who have immunity to it. Like I like cats. I was raised with cats. I love all kinds of cats. Jeff hates cats because he's allergic. Dave is allergic to cats too, but I'm not allergic, so I I've been around cats my whole to life. Cats, Dave. Uh, I the am. Me and Jeff I are. Am, yeah. You sad bastard. I just yeah. want to say they're that really not that great. <laughs> they're great. Care. I, 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 animals. I didn't and... spend that much time around cats. I never really liked them. Jeff, and then have all you the... smelt a Tom Cat's piss? <laughs> all right, <go> <laughs> a Tom Cat's piss. <laughs> no. I just Maybe. Why did you say that? So yeah, there's things I don't like. I don't like. All right, John, don't get mad. I don't like birds. Who's John? And John Tron? Yeah, I don't like birds. Oh. I like birds, but I would never own one because they're fucking annoying. Yeah, birds are loud. My dad had a bird, macaw, and all it did was fucking pull its feathers out and screech and, all day. And they shit all over you. Yeah, they shit unconspicuously. Like, they just shit while they're talking to you. They peck your hangnails they out of your hands. while they're talking to you? Yeah, they're just like, oh, they're shitting everywhere. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> they're just dumb. <laughs> Um, and like Jeff. I don't like hey. I don't like like <laughs> guinea pigs what? and like gerbils and shit. I don't the like those fuck? kinds of things. Let me tell you about the time me and my dad were waiting for my mom to get home, and this fucking little robin just flew into our kitchen. My dad grabbed the teacup, just threw it, and just fucking smashed <laughs> it against the wall. Oh my god! Are you Wait, serious? caught the bird. No, he killed it. He killed it? Yeah, and then he got up, he started smashing it with more cups. <laughs> oh my god. I killed a bird Ted's once. Yeah, it's not true. It's not true. Wait, why would you- house, He's like, hold on. Is that I'll protect you, son. He went bird, 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 bird. Started smashing it. But no, Jeff, that's not true. Why would you kill no, a bird? No, I did. Why? Uh, it was a woodpecker. It was destroying my parents' house. Okay, fuck house. those things, yeah. So I had to take a BB gun. I had to put one little BB in its skull. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not enjoy it. I felt really bad, but the thing was destroying. The thing was putting fucking holes. No, that's everywhere. that's an actual pest. Fuck that thing. Yeah, I I felt terrible. I would feel but... bad too, but again, I mean, fuck yeah, that thing. it's like it's you know, it's it's one of those kinds of bird. It's like a termite, like in yeah. the bird kingdom. Dude, I've had situations where a fucking bird will just wake me up and it won't stop screaming right outside my window, and I'm like, would I kill you? I, I got that problem would too. I? I hate that. When birds are just like screaming, but they're not even doing it in a rhythmic pattern, they're doing it like yeah. chaotically, so you can't like fall asleep to it because it does. it's just annoying the fuck out of you. No, yeah, and they're fucking loud too. Yeah, if birds... If birds learn to like fucking do it in a, in a rhythmic pattern, then I wouldn't mind it. But when they're just <laughs> sitting there, going... You know, no, th there's a really annoying one that's like, it doesn't sound like cheap, cheap. It's like, <laughs> it's like fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck it's just you. annoying. I, I, I honestly, and sometimes, like, I used to do it as a kid. I used to go out my window and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but obviously, the bird wouldn't understand me. So just go, <laughs> it could mimic you, though. I'm like, fuck the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the fucking crow that comes down. It's like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> Dude, those, yeah, those liar birds, you ever see that? No, what's a liar bird? They're, they're birds that can mimic any sound, so like, you hear them do like chainsaw sound effects and car alarms and shit. <laughs> no, ring, ring, no, ring, ring. And it's perfect, those it sounds real. Cool. My mom was taking a bold picture the other day and she sent, she took a picture of it and sent, she's like, oh, you're gonna love this one. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> she said, right. it, it was a good one. It was, it was me, really it was good. me, okay. I, listen, <laughs> as a kid, because I'm a million years old, Smurfs was very popular on TV. <laughs> And I dressed as a Smurf, as a little kid. And I had a little shirt on that had a little picture oh, of a Smurf, yeah, I had a okay. Smurf hat. But Admit it, Jeff. I had my you parents Uncle ben. painted my face blue, <laughs> but in the picture it looks like <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, yeah. Admit it, it looks like a little kid with <laughs> face on, and I was it freaked me the fuck out. Jeff, admit it. You were not a Smurf, you were Uncle Ben. I have to <laughs> <laughs> You were on Jemima for all the fucking sick fuck. <laughs> my my was Uncle Ben. ben. Oh, you mean the guy in the my fucking my He's on the parents, homemade rice oh, thing. That guy. My parents yeah. are just going, Yeah, we're just gonna tell him he's gonna I be. I thought you were gonna say the guy from that uh Disney film. Uncle, oh man, uh, Uncle. No. I don't know. I was gonna post it on Twitter, but I don't think I have the balls. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. You'd be people will screenshot that and you'll be used yeah. in cancel you, culture in the are you, future. Are you not I really blue? I think it's it like was, barely blue. I'm gonna it's say like, it's so barely blue. I feel, it's like a super dark. No, no, no. Baby. Listen, listen. It literally just looks like <laughs> blue it's with white fucking photo. Listen, wait, wait, wait. It's Jeff's like the, signature the features picture, on a child's face. Wait, stop. But with the <laughs> picture is really high contrast. I really believe it was way more blue in real life. It looks like black though in the photo. The worst picture I have is just matching fucking like pink wife beaters with my dad. That's the worst <laughs> I got. So. I found the picture. So, do you, oh, did you, did you, did Corey, oh, have God. you seen it? 
Uh, vaguely. Here, uh, Dave, you grab it and the- oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. You think I should put that out there? That does not look like a smurf. That is not a smurf. I have a smurf picture on my shirt. I'm a smurf. I'm yeah. a smurf. What, what, what lunatic of the Smurfs village wears a fucking picture of a look. smurf on his fucking shirt? Is that a KK hat? Yeah, that's and awesome. it's a smurf it's exactly hat. I'm a smurf. What kind, you're, you're, fuck what, you. What kind of fucking smurf wears a smurf on his own chest? <laughs> you're Me. Wearing, uh, you're wearing a white Ethan Klein hoodie on a beanie. <laughs> I fucking love that. Jeff, you should post that. You oh should post that and be like, scared. go follow a picture. Be Jeff. like, look, I'm a smurf. So you can Jeff, you didn't, fucking, you didn't fucking wear <laughs> face. You wore a smurf it's face. It's blue. Smurf it's face. blue Jeff. face. Jeff, technically anyone can dress Jeff. up like a smurf and turn the contrast down and become <laughs> face. Jeff, post that on Halloween and be like, lol. <laughs> when you're... When you're <laughs> When your All parents right. painted that, they were laughing. <laughs> they, were, they were fucking smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so when the when Nightmare Cops like comes out, like ah, people will fucking shit. recite the poster <laughs> and said lol to this kid who's dressed up. <laughs> your mom was sharpening the swastika. I have, <laughs> I have plausible deniability, okay? Yeah. That's fucking the greatest, dude. That's pretty Fuck funny. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm a smurf. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm a smurf. So listen, it? I dressed up as a vampire. That's about the worst I did. That's pretty fucked up. It's, it's like whatever, I guess. Why is he attacking the snakes? You know, dressing up like a vampire is cultural appropriation from Transylvania. <laughs> is it? Is yes. Transylvania real? Transylvania is real. I do like the texture on that guy. He's sort of like translucent and very. Very trans. I don't know. I don't like his he insect texture. I, li I like and dislike his insect texture. Yeah, no, his orange shit is cool. He looks like a worm. His, his like theme is really snake. cool. He looks like many worms all being friends together to yeah. create a humanoid like figure. Like a Nightmare Before Christmas character. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, it's kind of generic. Turn it off. <laughs> his name is Nidhog, Chris. Nidhog? Yes. Have you ever played what the did second you say? One? Nidhog. <laughs> what I did said Nidhog. <laughs> Jeff, stop. What did you say? They didn't know what they Jeff. were doing, naming it that. What did you say?